Hey everyone, how's it going? It's that nerd Ryan here, and today we're going to talk about one of my favorite non-Star Wars Star Wars movies, uh, which is Spaceballs. Um, I recently rewatched m the movie. I did this the old traditional way, without um, taking notes or anything, just because I wanted to talk about this movie and what I thought of it. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. This movie's been out for a long while since the 80s. It's a Mel Brooks parody of not only Star Wars, but any type of space genre, Flash Gordon, Star Trek, uh, Planet of the Apes, but it really focuses on the Star Wars aspect. Um, really quick fun fact here about the movie is that, uh, <coughs> excuse me, to be able to get the rights to make fun of some Star Wars stuff, um, Mel Brooks made an agreement with George Lucas on not being allowed to make merchandise. If you actually look at the merchandise scene, um, there's like Transformers stuff, actual Star Wars stuff, stuff like that, as props in there. Um, except for obviously the stuff that was like focused on and everything. So those prop merchandise is the only actual Spaceballs merchandise that there is toy-wise and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, just fun fact on that. Um, now let's get into it. Um, this movie is by far hilarious. Um, it starts out with basically the mimicking the same shot from A New Hope, uh, except this ship is gigantic. And the whole plot revolves around uh, Spaceballs trying to steal the air from Geridia by taking the uh, Princess Vespa. Um, and once they are trying to abduct her, Lone Star and Barf show up to save her, uh, who are in debt with Pizza the Hut. Um, and they're promised the money and everything. Now, Vespa was going to get married that day to a prince that she didn't really want to marry, but he's the last prince ever, so that's why they have to um, marry. And in that, they get stranded on a desert planet um, where they start falling in love um, for uh, Lone Star and Vespa, and they meet little Dink Dinks, I think they were called, where then they meet... Um, Yogurt, who is also played by Mel Brooks, who also plays the president. Um, wacky antics ensue, I'll say my favorite part later on. Um, but after all that, Yogurt te teaches Lone Star the power of the Schwartz, um, where they then decide to attack Spaceball One, which is the name of the ship. And in that, um, Lone Star and Dark Helmet, who is the Darth Vader equivalent. They fight, um, and we get some famous quotes from there, such as, I am your father's brother's sister's uh, cousin's former roommates. Um, something along those lines, which is a great line. And they fight, they get their Schwartz tied, and um, then the Death Star ends up, or not the Death Star, I'm sorry, uh, Spaceball 1 ends up transforming into a giant made with a vacuum to start sucking the air out of Druidia, but then it blows up and lands on the Planet of the Apes. In that, <clears throat> Lone Star finds out that he's a prince too at a space diner that actually, I think if I was remember right, has the Millennium Falcon on it. Um, and we get to see the scene from Aliens with the alien popping out of the guy's chest with the same actor he goes back him and Vespa live happily ever after so I have to say this movie is hilarious I actually sometimes prefer it over the original trilogy don't kill me for saying that but like I prefer it over that um because it captures the essence of Star Wars which is hilarious that it's like making fun of it but at the same time it just captures that essence. Um, and I'm really hoping today Andor does the same thing. I need to name drop Andor since it's coming out today. Um, but yeah, and 
I have to say, I think, like, I have two or three favorite si scenes in this movie. One of them being combing the desert, which, if you guys seen the movie, you get the combing the desert joke. Um, the part where they're watching um, the movie in the movie. <laughs> and um, the other part would have to be the Schwartz fight, which was just a great scene. And then the Planet of the Apes scene is great, too. All in all, it's a great movie. That's all I gotta say. So, let me rank it out. I'm just gonna cheat here and use my system. So the cinematography was fairly well. I give it a eight out of 10. Uh, the script was spot on, 10 out of 10. And then the story, 10 out of 10. Um, the characters, definitely a 10 out of 10 as well. Uh, the visual effects also a 9 out of 10, making it like a 9.5 out of 10. Because uh, for like a low budget comedy film, this was very well done. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tell me what you think of Spaceballs. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. Uh, get ready for Andor and have an amazing day. It's that Nerd Ryan signing off.